Today we will be solving problem C, meaningless operations from global code forces round 1. For detailed problem statement, follow the link in the description below. So what the problem wants you to do is, you are given a number A. Okay? And you need to calculate this function f of A. What is this function? Take any number B which is greater than 0 and less than A and calculate A is over B and A and B. Find the GCD of those two numbers and return the maximum of that. Okay? So if you want to do it, it will take order of A time but as with the constraints that will result in time limit exceeded. So how will we approach this problem? Let's take any random number in its binary representation and let's see what we can do with it. So let me take a number like uh, 1010. Okay. So we have taken this number 1010. So now what we want to do is we want to take a same number B for which this GCD will be maximum. To maximize this GCD, what we can think of is we can change one number to all zeros and the other number to all ones such that the GCD will turn out to be all ones. We can't have a GCD greater than that. So, what number we will choose such that we can make this number into all zeros in one operation and all ones in another operation? Let's choose and to make it all zeros. So what this number will be if I want here all zeros and what this number will be if I want here all ones. Here I am applying and and here I am applying zero. So in and you can simply figure out if I have one zero one zero if I flip the bits like in every position of one if I place a zero and in every position of zero if I place a one then I can make it 0. So it will be 0, 1, 0, 1. Now you will be thinking, why can't I write all zeros? I can't write all zeros because your number needs to be greater than 0. Okay? So this number will result in all zeros. Now to make this all ones using ZOR, what my number will be? I want a 1 here, it was a 0, so I will write a 1. It was 1 here, I want a 1, so I will write a 0. It was 0 here, I will write a 1. It was 1 here. And we want a 1, so I will write a 0 here. Now, a uh, good thing to observe is, both these numbers are same. So actually we have found out B. So, for every such situation, you have a B which will give you a GCD of all fours. So what you can think is, if you have a number like this, and it is having n bits in its binary representation, Then your answer is going to be 2 to the power n minus 1. That's pretty much correct. But what happens if we have all 1s? We can't have all zeros because the number a is said to be greater than 0. But we can have all 1s, right? So let us check that case as well. What if we have all 1s? And I want to do the same thing. If I want to do the same thing, then it turns out for the same thing, I need all zeros here to make this zero. As I already said that we need to be greater than zero, so this approach won't work. So what will we do here? We will take a mathematical approach here. So all ones means the number is of the form 2 to the power x minus 1. Okay? When the number is of this form, and I want to end it with any other number. Say I want to end it with B. What this number is going to be? If you follow this, this number is going to be B only. How? Let's take any, an example like you have 4 ones. Okay? And you want to end it with 3. So 0, 0, 1, 1. What it will be? It will be 3 only. So this is the thing, to the power x minus 1 ended with any number b will be equals to b. Now there is another thing, if you have to the power x minus 1, zord with b, it will be equal to 2 to the power x minus 1 minus b. Let's check that as well. I was ending here. Now if I have 1, 1, 1, 1, 
and if I want to zor with zero zero one one, one and one zor is zero, one and one zor is zero, one zero zor is one, one zero zor is one, which is basically twelve. Fifty minus three twelve. So these are the properties that we can use. So what we want to do is we want to find GCD of now to the power x minus one and it will be is equals to b and to the power x minus one is always b is to the power x minus one minus b. So we want to find GCD of to the power x minus one minus b comma with b. Now we can reduce this to is equals to GCD of to the power x minus one comma b. How we are using this property? GCD of x comma x plus y is equals to GCD of x comma y. By using this property, we can write this. So now, what these things are to be? You need a maximum GCD. So what will that be? You find the maximum divisor of two to the power x minus one. So this problem boils down to finding the maximum divisor of two to the power x minus one, which is greater than zero and less than this number. So now the problem is broken down into two parts. If your number is having all ones, you find the greatest divisor of that number, which we can do in a square root n time. If your number is n, and then if your number is not all ones, then you can directly follow the number of bits in the binary representation. And then you can change it and uh, represent the answer to the power n minus one. So that will be all for this problem. For solution and implementation details, follow the link in the description below. Thank you.